while you had all these leftists who were upset about torture and secret arrest and foreign FEMA camps and all this, now they don't even care. You know, now I see liberals on TV, on MSNBC, saying how great wars are. This is a bait and switch, and all the huge systems of control and power are now in their hands. We have to have the maximum push to point out how disgusting this is, them setting him up as a cult leader in America, some type of living God, some type of uh, Kim Jong-il or Saddam Hussein, which the U.S., by the way, set up in Iraq in 1979, groomed him from 1968. Well, even before that, they actually 58s when they got him for the CIA and trained Saddam, and then 68 made him the head of bad security. After he'd assassinated a bunch of their leaders, they said, you've got to hire him, we'll quit trying to overthrow you, the CIA did. Then 79, they staged a coup, put Saddam in, had him attack Iran, then ordered him to go ahead and attack Kuwait, but that's a side issue. Oh, my God. You start realizing the full ramifications of this. This is it. I'm sure of it. Just, I'm just, I, I've never been so sure of this except when I went on air and said they're going to stage a terror attack on the World Trade Center and blame it on their CIA asset Osama bin Laden in the next two months, call the White House and tell George Bush don't do it. Because I saw the preparations, the media, and I believe they're going to stage false flag terror attacks. I believe they're going to stage uh, assassination attempts on Obama so he can then crack down with a police state and look like he's being a savior and doing it for the right reasons. Um, this is it. We've got to point out this is a fascist mass movement. It's disgusting. It's filth covered. It's evil. It's lies. It's fraud. We have to stall this incredibly ambitious criminal agenda because, again, the Congress almost said no. The Congress has to rightfully say that the legislative is not just co-equal with the executive and the judicial, but that if you really read what most of the Founding Fathers said and the way state law works as well, it is the legislature that is above that actually charters and creates the courts and who is above the executive they declare war they say who the enemy is then the president prosecutes that under the control and funding of congress then we see cheney and bush saying no we're outside that we run it all obama now agrees that he's getting the power before he did as, as campaign rhetoric just like he was against wiretapping the american people without warrants just as he was against all these other things just as he was against NAFTA and GATT, and now is saying he's going to accelerate the North American Union SPP plan. Betrayal after betrayal after betrayal after betrayal. Well, it's probably one in the morning now here, Central Time. I've got to go get some sleep so I can get up early in the morning and cover this disgusting inauguration, which has a whole nother level. Not just using him as their front man and puppet, but it reaffirms the illusion that presidents actually run something and diverts and distracts people from all the real issues and all the real power elites and what their agendas are and what they're setting up. So it also does that. It distracts people from the real agendas and the real things that are happening as they go around chanting, Bob the Builder, yes we can. We can fix it, yes we can. Bob the Builder, la la la. So again, they're coming in with full-bore fascism, 110%, FEMA camps, troops on the streets, gun confiscation. This will all be rolled out in the next four to eight years, step of a step of a step of it being sold, each step being trial ballooned. We have to say no to each outrageous balloon. We have to point out how historically, how disgusting this is and how this guy lied and betrayed on every front. We have to know their tricks. He'll do things like criticize the Patriot Act and have a commission investigate it, but then reaffirm it. Watch. Uh, they will close in the next year, Guantanamo Bay, but they're admittedly opening them up all over the United States with no due process. I mean, these, they've beta tested this criminal court that's outside jurisprudence, doesn't have real juries. Now they're openly saying they're going to move it with the troops trained, the fake military tribunals trained in another country, in Cuba, in the area held by the U.S. in the Spanish-American War. They're not going to bring those cancers those metastasized cancer polyps into the United States and the ghost sites, the black sites all over the world, the, tor the real torture camps, those are expanding. So again, it'll all be, ooh, he shut down Guantanamo. But he isn't. They're bringing it here. They're bringing it here for us. I mean, again, it's thousands of issues, ladies and gentlemen. That's what's so frustrating about this is it just goes on and on and on and on. And it's so horrible, I can't even describe it. People say, well, Alex, you know, you get on here and give us pep tops. 
pep talks at the end of these things. And well, I mean, you know, I am fired up, folks. What am I supposed to do? I'm out here walking around in my backyard, looking at the stars out here, totally freaked out. I'm probably not going to be able to sleep tonight because it's so real. It's so hardcore. It's so sick. It's so horrible. It's so predatory. These criminals are running our government. They're above the law. They don't even pay taxes. I read every day how J.P. Morgan and this company and that company, their executives pay zero tax, and the whole company pays 1% tax, and how no one enforces against them, and how they've got rid of all the IRS agents that would investigate you know, these, the, these billionaire criminals, but then people with small businesses are being squeezed and abused. It's just all fraud. It's all a scam. It's all just dirtbag scum, and now they've got this guy just, just radiating all this uh, d- d- demagogic uh, personality, all sickeningly packaged with the whole disgusting media unified behind him in a way I've never seen before to ram through this disgusting agenda and all these poor souls who believe, who've been given this false hope, who are good people and who only want change and want a future and want to change the way things have done. They're going to be completely betrayed, but worse than that, they're going to think all of us that are warning them and reaching out to them are evil. They're going to think we're bad monsters. They're going to think we're John McCain and George Bush. They're not going to know how sophisticated and sick a setup it was unless we somehow figure out ways to reach these poor people and tell them now that it's all a setup, and I believe they will listen. So pray to God, folks. Trust in God, but tie up your camel. You know, Pray to God, but row away from the rocks, as Hunter S. Thompson would say. All I'm telling you is you better get out there and say no to this. You better get out there and fight this because your lives depend on it. You think George Bush and 9-11 was bad and the Iraq and Afghanistan and Georgia. You ain't seen nothing yet. Full coverage tomorrow on the radio as they have the coronation of their would-be dictator. We shall prevail. We shall defeat tyranny. God bless you.